I think it is time for a little garden tour. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's homestead. Let's talk about the garden. So this area that I'm in used to be quite a bit bigger. It used to go out to here and it was where our table was that's now in the backyard. But it also was like a perennial garden. Oh goodness, I had it all planted out beautiful with food. So what I'm thinking is I can fit probably maybe seven or eight of those beds of the of these beds right here maybe maybe five so if that's the case i can reroute the fence so this fence that's right here goes down the hill and around and then back up so i can reroute the fence back to where it was which was around this area come around the parking turn because we use this area we use this parking turn I gotta clear the blackberries see this is what I'm talking about the blackberries it's like they're looking at me and they're saying she's not looking let's grow a foot they're everywhere they're like literally everywhere and I'm just sitting here going there's more of them than there are of me I'm losing the battle on blackberries there is a reason I have reverted to Roundup and, and Crossbow. And this is one of them. This is one of them. I just don't have time for this. So let's start the planning because it takes me a while to get this planning. This bed won't be up and running. If I start on it now, it won't be up and running until spring. But if I could lay the garden beds out in a way, clear the edges, this gets the most sun. So this is what I'm working on. Now, personally, between you and me, I mean, I would just, I don't even have to put beds. I don't even have to put beds. It's just easier to weed. And let's face it, I'm no spring chicken. I kind of like having a foot bed up instead of being on my knees all the time, trying to seed and weed and figure out, is that a, a wee, is that a seed that my cats have rearranged or is that actually a plant? Is that a weed or a plant, right? So I kind of like the beds for definition. I also like the beds because it's just easier for me to work in. And this one right here, this one is trained not to go in the beds. So because my dog is trained not to go in the beds and because it's easier for me to bend down, weed and take care of things with the beds, we're doing beds, we're doing beds. Yeah, see how I already worked? Thank you, I already worked that problem out with you. You're amazing. So, oh, spiders everywhere. That's where we're at, that's the first part. Let's check peaches. Last time I checked the peaches, oh, we might have peaches this year. We might have peaches. I need to get this done too. So I need to finish the wall, because look at the peach tree. I mean, there's no, you couldn't help this, but I need to finish the wall here so I can backfill this area so the peach tree can start recovering. But look, it's got peaches. Surprise the heck out of us, it had peaches. Okay, I'm stalling, I'm stalling, and they all know it. I'm gonna take you on a tour. So we live on the upper level of the land. That is a, um, that's a Liberty apple tree. There's a Honeycrisp apple tree in there. This is the tiered, I, I tiered the walls. This is just beautiful. This road that we're on right here is called the Little Road to Hana. I've dumped a ton of wheelbarrows through it. This is behind the cottage. Now, all of this that you're seeing has not even been worked on. I cleared a little bit of there to get the wheelbarrow in. These are stairs that I built. Um, my husband was in clearing this area yesterday because it was just, he couldn't get to the chicken coop. And then that's where we 
do the slaughtering of the chickens and our burn barrel. So this is the burn um, pit. I will actually talk more on that and how we built that. It's so easy. Um, this is the studio pathway. So when you hear me talk about the studio pathway, and this is what I'm talking about. It is just a massive, I mean, if you're not down here, oh, aronia berries. Those are aronia berries. And they are, they're just about ready. But this is literally, do you see how that's just a mound and now all of that is weeds literally seeds all over the place oh we got a bumper crop of aronia berries i have not been down here mainly because seeing the garden look like this is really really depressing i usually have the path clear um i don't have weeds everywhere there is actually a path back there that we can't even get to. Um, we'll walk. Oh, trying to get through. The gummy berries. My, yep, my husband told me the birds stripped the gummy berries from all of their fruit. And boy, was he right. They did. There is no fruit on the gummy berry. There's two gummy berries. They pollinate each other. This is a pawpaw. And there's no fruit on the pawpaw this year either. We haven't had fruit on the pawpaw. Who knows? There's another one. They they need friends to pollinate. Comfrey, marshmallow plant, weeds. You see weeds, weeds, weeds. I don't consider foxgloves weeds. So let's go over this way. So in there, is literally a pathway and trees so there's crab apples which it looks like we have some crab apples and if we go over here we have some uh, plum tree and then we have apple trees oh and this is a rose bush looks like it's not and this is actually a path this is where some of the gravel is going to come because now remember i have a new I used to weed all of this from by hand. I have a new um, lease on life. If it's graveled, it gets sprayed with Roundup. Um, <laughs> there's actually a compost pile somewhere over there and a persimmon tree. Ooh, the persimmon tree looks good. I can, I think I can see it. So this is, This is where I will be working. So this is the crab apple. The crab apple is absolutely beautiful. And we placed it right at the view of, that's our kitchen right there. So we placed it right where we could see the kitchen. And then this is... Okay folks, get a good look at all of this because I'm definitely going to be coming back through when i weed it and get it done the lipstick plant she is a gorgeous there's artichoke plants in there if they survived huh where is the artichoke oh maybe the artichoke oh yeah the artichoke did not survive oh sad for the artichoke the whole plant is gone slugs love the artichoke I might be able to bring it back. I see one leaf. So there is li literally, there's a chair, a bench in there. We just removed a table that was here and it's just all weeds. And really, I still know where, I wasn't too worried about it. I still know where all the plants are. They're still here. I just need to get rid of the weeds and weed around them like there. See, the hosta is still there. It's like, hey, I'm here, I'm protected. There's another hosta in there. The olive tree is still here. The berries are still growing up against the fence line. The bad berries are trying to get to them. It's like a war. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you. The red currants are still doing amazing. They're still here, they need to be harvested. Look at that. We've got more, another olive still here. 
it's actually I planted this a year ago people a year ago this month and um, it was a baby it's like doubled in size it loves it here and then black there's red raspberries there there's black raspberries up there against the fence line they're still here the other red currant and then here's the little baby fig that's a brown turkey fig they don't usually do very well in our area um, but we still we still love him and here look black it's a black raspberry it's just and it literally is doing great and that is a white um, wisteria and here's the other fig can you just imagine that fig so cool and then some perennials so I had to fence this area off and wheat I had to fence this area off one to keep the deer out of it and two take a good look because I'm gonna bring you back through after I clean it up um, two because I wanted to keep all of the I wanted the definition of where the garden that had been planted this was all planted a year ago um, and the wall was actually built a year and a half ago so it was all planted a year ago it's doing amazing it just needs to be cleaned up and I really I put that there as a nursing log but if you want to use it as scratching your claws go for it babe there. okay so I've got five garden beds coming here I'm gonna be working on filling in over here from the stuff that's there so you'll see it you'll know it when you see it and then I think we're gonna put the table here because we are really big front yard people and um, I think the table's gonna go there so where am I gonna get the dirt from there our excavator saved us some really cute good dirt and then I will amend it with stuff that I have in the seed shack so that is hopefully this week's project. It is Monday, we are going through the week, and that is what we've got there. Now, what did I do with all this bark? Because there's only about, what, a yard left of it? Maybe two yards. So I went into this area, and I'm pretty much losing the battle with the weeds here. I had the whole hill weeded, and literally in March, it is now the end of July. I don't, I think you'll be seeing this next month. Um, so I'm losing the battle. I'm admitting I'm losing the battle. And I'll tell you my plan when we get to the end of it. So I put a big, thick layer of mulch down so that I don't have to water as much. And the plants have a little bit of relief from the dry um, wind that comes through. So this where the mulch is and about a foot up is my weed zone that is what i'm going to be keeping clear and weeding on a weekly by weekly basis so i have dahlias cat mint different kinds of peppermint and nasturtiums which will grow up and over i want the nasturtiums to grow up the hill bank i have new zealand spinach which i also want to grow up the weed the, the hill bank um, tomatoes there's cherry tomatoes I'll come out and harvest those so this is literally um, crocosmias those will grow up that bank and create a mass and choke out the weeds and not allow the weeds to grow so the goal is is to slowly systematically get rid of the weeds and continue to plant the extra plants I have all over this yard up on this bank so when I look out from the kitchen window which is right there I will see a beautiful wall of flowers right can you just imagine that I can imagine that and I see your next poo Mags I'm missing it missing it and then I've trailed this New Zealand spinach to go up the bank I've got more dahlias I need to put stakes I have little sticks behind most of the dahlias that tell me where they're at and then this is definitely what I did um, more mint we're not quite sure what these are we think they are 
a squash plant. They grow just like a squash. And we're not sure what we had planted here. We planted a lot of stuff last winter or last summer when we were transplanting everything. So I'm thinking it's just like maybe a plant that just decided to come back because we didn't harvest any fruits. So look, here's the wall. We have the black, el black elderberries and more dahlias. I love these dahlias right there. I just love them and gladiolas. So this is where I separate and if I find hydrangeas, if I find a an extra flower or plant, then it gets put there. It gets put there. So let me show you what I have been doing because I think at the beginning of this video I've shown you what it looked like or what it was like. Now I'm going to show you what it is now. So here is that jumbled mess of weeds. So we have nast um, daisy marguerites. I have cleaned up and gravel path. I found the path. It's not completely done, but I have found the path and I tied back this little section because I kind of think it's really cute. We're getting our fall crop is coming. The um, golden raspberries give you fall and spring crops. I like the spring crop better, but so I laid a nice, nice thick layer of gravel, three quarter minus. I weeded a little bit in here, not much. My asparagus fern, I kind of teased it up and over the um, rail. I do need to fix the rail a little bit. I need to go back in and clean out the weeds. I was just concentrating on the path and what I could reach in the path. And I will be staking up this apple tree. Poor little thing. We have, I found Egyptian onions, walking onions. Those were exciting. My bewitched rose is doing beautifully. I probably should cut some from her. And there, so the path. This is the table that's gonna go out in the front again. And there, it's a little walking path that kind of teases you as you're on the patio. Kind of teases you, right? Now, I just finished, just now, the gravel pathways in the garden. And remember, last week we did the garden beds. I had built those, finally finished and put the nettings on them. Um, so we actually have green onions coming up here. What do we have over here? We have cilantro is coming up. My husband is so excited about that. Um, we have peas, beans, and radishes. Those radish seeds last a long time, don't they? Mm -hmm. I'll be thinning those out for some salads. And we have pak choy, which is amazing. Now, you can notice the pak choy seeds are not, um, they don't last as long. They're not an even row. And spinach, spinach is, doesn't seem to be a long-term keeper in seed wise, which is a difference. <gasps> it looks like we might have some carrots. Yes, we have some carrots. You can't see them, but I can. I will need to come and water those. And then I graveled the pathway. See, graveled the pathways. All of them are graveled. And then last night, yesterday, I put this down, um, a four by four. I screwed it in and put a little stake in it nailed down and what did we do on saturday mads we laid a thick layer of that bark dust down and there you go bark dust i'm a little concerned about the palestinian lime a little concerned about him um i'm going to be doing a tea tree oil no not tea tree a terra shield essential oil mix with some water and spray it on him um I've done that once before and it killed all the bugs and it was on this guy that I did it. I'll probably just do it as a preventative measure. It doesn't hurt the plant at all. I spray it on in a very diluted mix and that tea, that uh, Terra Shield, just literally the bugs do not like it. So I put some bark dust underneath just for aesthetic wise and that's about it. That's it folks. I'm going to go in and have breakfast and mate fill the bags up with water again just one more time you guys have a great day mm -hmm.